All right, so this is live from the messy desk. It isn't messy, it's our test deck. And uh, the coffee freshly served here by my better half, the iced coffee. And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, TV title, YouTube title, YT title. I should call it YT and not TV. Uh, this is going to be game number 52 of 112, and this will be a match between the, the uh, Quebec Nordiques and the Edmonton Oilers. So how's that? I'll put Edmonton at home for this, and so uh, and maybe just a little bit kind of showing, um, you know, what I do, how I do it. So uh, I've got Google Slides here with uh, Quebec and Edmonton logos, all the World Hockey Association logos, and a couple of different sizes. I, I've decided to use the other ones that are a little smaller for standings update. Actually, I got a comment. I got a question how I make them smaller. I'll show that really quickly. So let's say I want a larger or smaller uh, I guess I can probably zoom in on this as well. Let's say I want a larger or smaller uh, New England Whalers. And you can see here I'm patch 83 and hockey. I'm real at the same time. It's been revealed. Uh, so I go down here. I, I right click and I go to format options, size and rotation. And if you're worried about making it look like, say, in the case of the Whalers, more of an oval than a circle, then what you can do is click lock aspect ratio. And so I can change the size. Look, it's even in American inches. Uh, so... Actually, wait, I don't, I don't want to do it to this logo. So control C, control V, copy, paste. And let's go, let's say 1.6 instead of 0 0.6. So you can see now a larger New England Whalers logo there. But I don't need that this time. What I need is the Oilers, which I think I already did. Yes. So the Oilers are coming into this one. We'll zoom in on this also. Oh, it already is zoomed in. Okay. With a record of... Uh, with a record of 6-3-3. Three, and three. They are the TV champions. I actually went back and realized that... Uh, uh, they were actually technically the defending uh, YouTube. I, God, I'm going to keep using those two terms interchangeably. The defending YouTube champions. And uh, so I'm glad that they beat the Whalers. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say here. Because the Whalers, I don't know if I should have appointed them champions or not. They were paper champions at best. They were. Uh, the Quebec, Quebec Nordiques come into this with a record of 5-4-3. and three, And Edmonton with a record of 6-3-3. Three, and three. And these teams have actually not played one another. I'll zoom this in also. Uh, these teams have actually not played one another. Um, 175 is probably too much. Uh, so far in this, I feel like I've been kind of been holding out and saving this matchup. Uh, so this will be 52 of 112, and away we go with it. And I'll, I'll take away some of the other stuff as I need to. So I'm going to come over to Deck of Cards, which again, usually, again, I would zoom out for myself. My eyesight's probably not what it used to be, but it's pretty good. But for the purposes of this, I'll zoom in here a little further so we can see these cards more easily. And Oh, that's right, too. I should probably shuffle them first. I highly doubt the Ace of Spades and Two of Spades should have been the first two cards. Apologies if they weren't. I'm somehow screwing Quebec because Mark Tardif can make a play on a, on a Two of Spades. Anyway, controversy already. Uh, probably wouldn't be a video and game of mine without it. Uh, so we're going to get... Um, we're going to get, uh, sorry, Queen. That's going to be Serge Bernier, actually, for the Quebec Nordiques. And Bernier with that nine, he is able to maneuver it. Actually, it's going to be a solo effort here for Bernier. And look at the ace just like that right away. The Quebec Nordiques have scored here, made it one nothing. Uh, Bernier in all alone, all by himself. I think everyone, including the Edmonton goalie that I've not looked up yet, but that's okay. I've got this. It's not the first time. It won't be the last. Let's flip one more card first. I got ahead of myself as usual. Uh, so nine of spades. It's going to be Warren Miller getting the assist there on Bernier's goal. So now the logos are a little... Uh, I'm just going to start clicking here. So Nordy, Quebec, Quebec, where are you? Quebec, Winnipeg, New England. <laughs> Wow, so I might put the team cards back up, but I just realized when I'm zoomed in, there's a little arrow over here that I need to click in order to get uh, to Quebec. So, Quebec, Bernier, that's going to be a sixth. And uh, Warren Miller, probably a little further down now that I'm zoomed in. Miller, that is just his second assist. Whoops, no apostrophe with that uh, for this campaign. So it was just the lone assist on the goal. Bernier again with a sixth and Miller having the primary assist. I could go for exact time. I don't really bother with this. But one thing that I should bother with is a so random number 25. Richard Broder gets to start for Quebec. And it's going to be Dave Dryden for Edmonton. I do like to do that <laughs> early in games, if not before the game when I should do it. Anyway, back to uh deck of cards here. So we got a four, 
three, so that's going to be misplayed there by Dave Longman from Edmonton. We're five minutes into the game. Now, that's right. There's the opening sequence. So Quebec scored in the opening sequence anyway. I did not screw the Nordiques. Uh, so yeah, the five and two, that is going to be Edmonton. A little unable to get anything going early, a little tentative. Uh, queen and four, however, Paul Schmier. Again, that's a misplay, a rare uh, missed opportunity there for Schmier. King and three back the other way, Real Cloche, who I believe probably leads the league in assists right now. He's close, if not the leader. Uh, but it's going to default to a Nordiques team player with a five and the king. So I'm going to award that goal. Let's give it to Gary Lavervier since I accidentally called him George last video. I probably could have also given it to Andre Boudreaux. But it's a bit of a guesstimation there when, you, uh, when you're looking at the team row. There are different ways of doing it. But Lavervier feels right to me right now. So uh, Lavervier, and that was from Cloutier. That's just Lavervier's second goal. And... Uh, and Cloutier, let's find Cloutier. La Riviere being a defenseman. And Cloutier, that's going to be a 16th assist. Again, with this just being Quebec's 13th game, that is a lot of assists. And uh, even for the World Hockey Association. And so the 8, that's going to be Matty Hagman picking up the secondary helper there. So Matty Hagman, that puts him to double digits now in points. And we come back over here where, again, we go with... Um, hopefully this isn't entirely uninteresting to watch, but this is how I do it. Uh, so I did say Gary, not Georges, La Riviere with his second goal there, and uh, Cloutier with the primary helper, Hagman with the secondary. It's a 2 0 Quebec game right now, so poor Oilers. Uh, 12 and a half minutes in here. Let's get us up to the 15 minute mark for that six. So it's going to be Edmonton with another possession. This one's guaranteed to get through. Yuha Whiting, he had a good game last time on camera with the seven and the 10. It's going to be Whiting to Micheletti. Micheletti tees off from the point, And now we have a one goal game here again, a competitive game. I should erase that note about the first period. Shocking when you get a, a goalless period, goalless period, let alone game here with again the WHA. But uh, Joe Micheletti, he also produced in the last uh, video. Am I spelling his last name correctly? I think, I hope I am. And uh, with the primary there, Yuha Whiting picking up another point. I hope I'm saying his name correctly also. Of course, I obviously also, I feel like I say that too much. I hope I have everyone's name pronounced correctly. There's, uh, you never know sometimes too, right? You look like the modern example there, Elias peterson Pedersen. Uh, Alex Pietrangelo, who is the uh, the nephew of Frank Pietrangelo, the hockey guy, likes to talk about that one. But anyway, getting the secondary helper with the uh, Jack of Spades was Dave Longevin, the aforementioned earlier mentioned Dave Longevin there. So we go over to the Oilers, where again we got to look for Micheletti. Micheletti, he's probably got a couple of goals already. Micheletti's make that four, so he's up to a handful now. Uh, Whiting with his fifth assist and his ninth point. And Longevin a little further down. That was six assists and seven points on the season. Uh, Longevin, and that was, yeah, goal number five there for Joe Micheletti. So it's 2-1 here, Quebec over Edmonton. And I will erase this <laughs> note about the uh, the uh, goalless first period there. And uh, so we have, let's see, six sequences gone, 15 minutes gone here in the opening frame. The six and the three. So again, Edmonton, what might have been there? A lot of low cards after picking up the puck. And then Quebec here, Real Cloutier, he's going to be able to... Uh, set up Bob Fitchner, Fitchner in front, but I think just out of time and just out of steam. So after one period of play, we have a 2-1 hockey game between Quebec and Edmonton. Maybe I'll put those in a more visible place. Ay, ay, ay. That's not going to work though, is it? Um, maybe if I put them over here like this. There we go. There we go. Forward thinking. Okay. So 2-1 after one. And to commence the second period, we'll give a few more clicks and shuffles few to a handful there and uh, the opening sequence is going to be Edmonton again with possession this time Zook successfully able to play it through to Cowboy Bill Flett Flett with the Joker that's an automatic goal we automatically have a tie game here Brett Callahan picking up the secondary so to Edmonton we stay where Cowboy Bill Flett there that's half a dozen for him and uh, Zook getting the primary assist there he's now up to 10 points on the season Callahan we said had the other one so Callahan now with a dozen points uh, so we can erase Bobby Hall's eighth goal of the season. Jamie Hislop's having a good year there as well. Uh, and uh, let's see here. So Edmonton, um, 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 um. yeah, Bill Flett, that's right. Bill Flett, with, I did do the half dozen dozen thing. And Zook there with the primary and the secondary helper. It was Callahan. Okay, whoops, not 0-1 though. That's going to be a two-all hockey game now. So Edmonton did this actually in the last game. Probably if you had been a better, more proper sports hockey game reporter, I would have talked about how 
Uh, Edmonton, I think in that game, if I'm not mistaken, that was the game where I play a lot of games all close together. But I think that was the game where they actually had to overcome uh, either a two goal deficit. Yeah, in the third period, they had to score. They had to pot three unanswered goals in period three in order to uh, come back and beat New England. Anyway. Up to the five minute mark in this one, that's not going to hoodwink even the Oilers' 78 defense. So we're five minutes in now with the five. And with possession this time, it is Randy Rhoda. Randy Rhoda, he sets up Ron Chipperfield with a four. Four is all that Chipperfield needs. Uh, Edmonton, again, they've scored three unanswered goals here now. They've taken the lead. Blair McDonald, they were the secondary helper. And uh, so Randy Rhoda and Blair McDonald getting the assist on Chipperfield's goal. Just his fourth, more of a setup man he's been, at least in this. And uh, where's Randy Rhoda? Randy Rhoda. That's going to be hard with this. Maybe what I have to do is this. So we'll find Rhoda. Rhoda now up to eight points. And the secondary helper is Blair McDonald. Blair McDonald, Blair McDonald, Blair McDonald. It's going to be up a little further. Yes, he is. Still, it's kind of a slowish start for him, though, I feel like. Guy who scored 46 goals two seasons later. Playing on a line with Gretzky will help with that. Anyway, so we're up to the midway point here of reg regulation, and I don't play overtime. Jean Bernier, that's going to be fed through to four. Mark Tardif. Tardif, a little lower down on the card for this one, where he needs a 5 to 10 instead of a 2 to 10. So didn't luck out there. Anyway, six and three, so that there's going to be nothing happening in this play either. Twelve and a half in now up to the 15-minute mark. With the six and the seven, it's going to be Widing. Widing here, he's going to make a play to Al Hamilton. Hamilton with a blast, but that is going to be stopped by Richard Brodeur. So six and ten here now, two and a half minutes to go. Baxter, Baxter on and through. Baxter to Bernier looking for another, but he needed two more. He needed a five there, but Tardif, however... Quebec keeping the pressure on. Tardif faces his way through to a team player. I think this works for Quebec earlier, so I'm going to say Tardif to Baxter with the aid in the Quebec Nordiques have tied it here at three. Oh, I forgot to update a goal. All right, that was a little unsuccessful task switching, but it's going to be a three all game. Now, this is the tail end of the second period, I think, right? Eighth sequence, just uh, even though I'm not going to keep exact time for this one. So the Quebec Nordiques, whoa, dear. Tardif again successfully... Feeding it to, oh, why do I keep hitting tab instead of caps lock? Uh, feeding it to someone unsuspecting. So I think Baxter, that's that's definitely not his first goal, uh, Baxter. Sometimes what I do as well, like I could actually have two spreadsheets open, one for Quebec and one for Edmonton. Sometimes I do it that way also. That is just Baxter's second. Baxter and Tardif, he's, I think, tied with Robbie Fatorik now. I'm curious. Uh, 12 and 26, yep. So 12 goals, 26 points there. And uh, so Tardif, and did I get a secondary for this one? No, I did not. Queen of Spades on Quebec. That would give the assist to a guy who got off to a hot start. He's gone ice cold, Christian Bordalo. And some, like five of these seven points he got in a couple of earlier videos there at the season's uh, beginning, the condensed season's beginning. So for Baxter, that was the second from Tardif. And I do have to put C Bordalo because he's not the only one uh, playing for the Quebec Nordiques. There's also Pauline Bordelau. Okay. And uh, might have caught that. That was my better half sneezing in the other room. And we commence the third period. So 9-5, nine, 9-5, five, nine, five, nine, five. Jean Bernier unable to make anything happen with any success. Three here, three and King here for Quebec. It's allergy season over here. Uh, so that is, that's going to actually stymie the Edmonton defense. So it's going to be Cloutier. Was that Cloutier? Yeah, Cloutier on to Queen. Got to pay attention here in real time. Pauline Bordelot has put Quebec ahead here with a six of clubs. That's going to be J.C. Trombley getting the secondary. So Pauline Bordelot, that's his ninth. It's just the one assist here. We call that a Cy Young candidate. Uh, Pauline Bordelot, let's take away this notes and stuff about Winnipeg. So Quebec, we've had a few lead changes in the game. I like my lead changes. Uh, so, whoops, oh, I hit tab again instead of caps lock. Okay, Quebec, Pauline Bordeaux. I, you know what? I should just hit the shift button and not be so lazy. Uh, Pauline Bordelow. Okay, Pauline Bordelow with his ninth. Sorry if it's annoying watching me not type very well. And it was Cloutier there getting it on to him. And the secondary helper we did say was, uh, we said it, oh, J.C. Tromley, that's right. I don't really have to put J.C., though. There is only one Tromley in this team. Anyway, so it's 4-3 Quebec now, and I should double-check there because Cloutier, I did not give him his, I know that he came into, oh, did I? Huh. 
Now, I think that's another assist for him, right? He came into the game with 15. Yeah, he's had two helpers here now. And uh, Tremblay not doing too hot. Just seven, uh, seven points, I guess. It's all assist. Uh, so we go back to it up to seven and a half minutes here in period three where Quebec or Edmonton again, the six and the four. Let me see here if Brett Callahan can make anything happen with the queen. Yes, he can on the Quebec defense. Gets it to Ron Chipperfield. Chipperfield with a pair, chipping in with a pair. And the spade, that's going to be Joe Micheletti with a secondary helper. So it was Micheletti, I believe Callahan started that rush. Callahan and Chipperfield got the goal. Micheletti got the secondary helper. Okay, so Chipperfield up to goal five. And Callahan, I guess, now up to 13 points. And Micheletti, that'll give him one more assist and goal. So that's going to put him at 11 points. And uh, have I updated it here? No, I have not. Uh, so we have a 4-4 game. I guess it, Edmonton would defend their title with a draw. I'm not going to do overtime because that would just throw everything off. Uh, so it was Ron Chipperfield with his second of the game. I'll see if I can find a nice hockey card of him should Edmonton uh, prevail here. And uh, Callahan got the rush going, and Micheletti also probably fed it to Callahan to get things started. So we got 10 minutes to go here in the game where Quebec immediately, it's going to be Clucci. That will penetrate the Edmonton defense. To a team player, Quebec, they're bench chipping in in this one. Let's say uh, Warren Miller this time. Warren Miller with the seven. That's exactly, absolutely what they need. So Quebec, multiple, multiple lead changes here. Paul Baxter with the secondary. So it was Clucci setting up here with another helper. Uh, Clucci, so let's let's update it here first. We'll go 5-4 uh, we'll Quebec. And uh, it is, uh, I'm going to give that one to Warren Miller. Another Quebec team player, Cloutier. And I believe I said Baxter. Double check the card here, short from memory when I'm nervous. Yes, Baxter. Okay, so Miller from Cloutier and Baxter. Let's go back to the Quebec Nordiques and let's go down to Warren Miller. And waiting for the air conditioning to kick in. Uh, Warren Miller here. Goal number four from Cloutier. That's going to be assist number nine, 18. Yeah, 16, 17, 18, right. And so as advertised, Cloutier is setting up everybody and not Bob Fitchner, but Paul Baxter. Paul Baxter up to nine points. Now he's had a multi-point night here if this is night. So seven and a half minutes to go. Quebec looking to add to their lead, but they're jokered out. I don't care what the next card is. Uh, so... The Blackjack, since that's the first in the sequence, that would benefit Gary La Riviere, except that actually uh, the Edmonton defense, they've sent him down the river. So 4-7, four, 4-7, seven, four, seven, that is Tardif. Tardif will be able to make a play all Quebec here late in the game. And uh, because this is the final sequence, isn't it? So Tardif with the 4 and the 7 here. I can't get ahead of myself too much here. Tardif 4 and 7 and 6 and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. So especially when you're kind of not paying attention, this game can really go by really quickly. That was Warren Miller's fourth goal. And uh, that's going to make it a 5-4 Quebec final score. So if you are a fan of Le Nordiques, uh, they are now your TV champions. Again, they were 5-4-3 coming into this. They will improve the record to 6-4-3, and three, where Edmonton's will also fall similarly. Allow me to double check on that. And uh, let's, you know what, let's Google Ron Chipperfield hockey cards together. Ron Chipperfield, Edmonton... Oilers, hockey cards. Sometimes I would put the year. For him, I'm just going to start with Ron Chipperfield, Edmonton Oilers, and hope that Google doesn't, you know, show anything inappropriate because you would be surprised. I like this autograph picture of him. I think I'm not going to shop around. I think I'm just going to take this immediately. It is a JPEG image. I had a couple of cards here of Dean Prentice there earlier from the Rangers game. I think I took the better one, the Rangers game that I uploaded. So World Hockey Association, I think I do have to start dividing these by team. I'm just a little lazy. Edmonton, and I don't have a chipper field card yet. It's not really a card, but a photo. So the chipper field photo can go in if you're posting on pair, uh, on uh, the penalty box on... Um, <laughs> Goodness, goodness, goodness. What's this? Oh, Delphi. Wow, there's the word that I forgot. All right, time for me to stop recording and take a break. Uh, actually, normally I put the photo a little lower, so now annoyingly I have to wait until it's 100%. Yeah, that's not where I want it. Uh, not in Edmonton's record. So Chipperfield. I, whoops, I guess I could do cliche and cheesy and say Chipperfield chipped in with a couple, something like that. Chipperfield chips in with a couple. It is, it, uh, what's the game? No, wait, what am I doing? Quebec won this damn game. Chipperfield doesn't play for Quebec. 
Uh, Cloutier with the helping hands. Uh, what's my headline here? Warren Miller had a couple of points also. Um, Cloutier. You know what? I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, so 5-4 is your final score, and that's game 52 in the books, and I'm going to post the YouTube link here. All right, thank you for any time and consideration that you give to this now 20-minute long video or any other like it on this channel, and bye for now. Cheers.